Hey there, fellow wet shavers, Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. Hey, we got a chance to do a rare video. I know it's been a while, but uh, glad to be back and be able to get a video on camera. Today's video, we will be using uh, Master Soaps Creations uh, Eros, um, God of Love. And uh, we are using the matching splash that goes with that. Uh, for a brush, I have the PAA. Um, what is this one? This one's the Phantom, I think. Uh, yep, <clears throat> the Phantom Aerolite. Sorry about that. I gotta put my glasses on here to, to read. These eyes are getting old, folks. Uh, we're all lathered up in the Lancaster Razor Works bowl here already for a razor. First on the channel, this is the Aylesworth Razor uh, Copper Cont. And I have a Gillette Wilkinson Sword. Um, I've just got these blades recently. I've heard good things about them. This is a saloon pack. Uh, I think specifically what I've heard from people is that you need to find the ones that are made in India. And um, that is the ones that come specifically in this saloon pack. So I've used it in another razor a couple of times. Uh, seemed like a good blade to me. Uh, so we'll try it in this razor here. Uh, real quickly, I want to give a shout out to Caleb at Aylesworth. I just watched the um, Lather Hog um, talk show or podcast on YouTube for um, <clears throat> their awards and um, John and Gerard did their um, nominees for different awards from their Discord server um, or their Discord channel. I'm not really sure what the terminology for Discord is. Um, I'll put a link to their Discord in the description below if you're interested in checking that out. Um, they're a great group, <clears throat> a lot of information in there. And um, But Caleb won like three different awards uh, on that for, I don't know, Artisan or Razor and something else. So congratulations, Caleb. Um, he has the Dracant, which is a stainless steel version, and this Copper Cont, um, which has a slightly different handle, um, <clears throat> but pretty much the, I think the head and base plate geometry are pretty much the same. So um, let's wet the face and get started here. Hope everybody's doing well. Still busy on my end. Um, like I said, glad to be able to get a video in and I will continue to get them in as I can. Um, and uh, I picked up this Master Soap Creations from the Razor Company a while ago. It's my second use of it. It's a very, very nice scent. It's based on Versace Eros. And if you haven't tried Master Soap Creations, uh, definitely recommend giving them a shot. Um, you get six ounces of soap. I think $14.99, so it's a, it's a really good value, really quality soap. Uh, scent notes on this, we'll go over real quick. Top notes are mint, lemon, and green apple. Uh, middle notes are tonka bean, ambroxan, and geranium flower. Um, base notes are vanilla from Madagascar. I don't know what vervir is, it's V-E-R-Y, V-E-R. I don't know if that's supposed to be vetiver. Uh, oak moss. And then cedar from two different sources, Virginia and Atlas cedar. Not really sure what the difference in scent of those cedars would be, um, but they're both in there. So I get a scent strength, uh, it's probably in the medium realm on this. Uh, probably give it about a five-ish uh, out of 10. So you definitely get the scent strength, definitely know it's there. Uh, very, very nice scent. I don't really get any particular notes um, jumping out at me. Uh, the vanilla is a nice touch. I, I like a lot of stuff with vanilla in it, and it's well done here. It's not too sweet, not overly gourmandish or too sweet. Um, I think this scent is definitely uh, would be a crowd pleaser in my mind. That a lot of people would like. To me, it's got somewhat of an aquatic vibe. I don't know, the mint doesn't jump out. It's not overly um, citrusy with the lemon. And so it'd be hard to hard for me to imagine anybody not really, <clears throat> excuse me, liking this scent at all. I've never smelled the original, so I cannot tell you how close it is 
to the original fragrance. But like I said, overall, very, very nice. Very well done. Um, I got this, like I said, through the Razor Company. I do an affiliate link for them. I think it is sold out there currently. I'm not sure when it's coming back. I also do know you can pick this up from the Wet Shaving Store. They currently do have it in stock. Um, so I'll put a link to that as well in the description below if you're interested in checking out the product. Um, I have an affiliate link there as, uh, at the Wet Shaving Store as well. <clears throat> All right, pass one done. Let's get into the second pass. Well, things have been going good with the pharmacies. We continue to grow, continue to get busier. So um, it's really nice. I think our biggest problem now is we're growing so fast. Um, that our <laughs> expenses, as you can imagine, there's a lot of people on some really high cost medications. Um, <clears throat> some of these patients are on things that are a thousand bucks plus a month and they're wanting to get like three months supplies and we don't get paid for 30, 60, sometimes 90 days from insurance companies, but our wholesaler bill is due every Wednesday. <laughs> so um, we're just trying to keep up with that right now and get caught up with some of our insurance payments. But it's going fairly well in terms of growth, so that's good. So this Copper Cont Razor, I'll talk about that for a minute. Uh, I really enjoy it. I'll be honest with you, I got, um, if you look back on my channel, it's probably over a year ago now, <clears throat> I um, was um, given the opportunity to try um, the prototype for the Tracant. And um, I was sent that in a pass around. I was one of the first ones to get to try it. Um, I had it for about a week, so I didn't get a lot of shaves in with it. But to be honest with you, I didn't really feel like I got some great shaves and then it came out in the production model at a price point that was like a little higher than I wanted to spend on a razor that I didn't feel I got a lot of great shaves out of. So I didn't pick up the Dracant when it came out in production and kind of held off on that. I think it was like 180, 175 to 185 bucks or something like that, depending on the finish you got on it. And then um, when the Copper Cont came out, it's at a much more affordable price point with the brass. And um, I think when it first came out, you got a free stand if you were one of the first people to order directly from, from Ellsworth. So I got for, I think, 99 bucks, I got that razor and the stand. I thought I'd give it a try, and I am very happy that I did. Um, it's not the shave experience that I remember, and I asked Caleb about it. He said there really wasn't a lot that changed, or much, or anything. I don't know that changed between the prototype, although the prototype was not made. The current razors are made um, by Yates Precision Manufacturing for uh, Aylesworth and the prototypes were not made by them. So I think there is some difference. And, um, but either way, uh, it's a, this particular um, razor is um, very smooth. And um, the original plate it comes with is, um, I would call them fairly mild shaver. I would say efficiency is about medium. It's definitely not the most efficient razor that I have, but that being said, it is efficient enough for me and it is super, super easy to use. Um, it's what I would call for me one of the cruise control razors, you know, like 
There's ones that have more blade feel that are more aggressive where you're really paying attention to the blade and the razor and the angle and you're, you're really kind of going a little bit slower in your shave where this one is almost like kind of like my Mercure 34C or my Carve on a B plate or the Overland, Carve Overlander razors like that where I can just shave and I'm not really um, finding that I have to be as conscious about the angle or the blade seems to um, be able to um, have a wide, it seems to have a wide um, um, angle. Um, what do I want to say? A wide tolerance to various angles. So I've noticed that there's some razors, if you don't get the sweet spot, it has a kind of a small window um, of the angle one way or another, where this one has a, I guess, a wider angle or a wider window, <laughs> can't even speak, uh, of the blade angle uh, on your face. So it's more forgiving in that sense. You don't have to be on point with a specific uh, angle. So, now there is a, um, for the stainless steel, there is a more aggressive plate that's available. Um, and Caleb said they are working on another plate for this one to kind of step it up for those that want a little bit more probably efficiency. One thing I do like about this razor a lot. Um, I don't know if it's just the shape of my nose, um, but I always have a hard time getting like right in here on some razors. And one thing I like about this razor is the edges here are angled a little bit. They're not squared off. So I can get around my nose a lot easier. Hey bud. <laughs> my son just got up. Um, so I really like that about this particular razor design. And there are other razors out there that, sorry, a little too close to the camera, um, that are like that. And so I particularly like those design styles. All right. So anyways, very happy with this razor. The Wilkinson sword blades seem to work just fine. Uh, very smooth. Um, Worked well in this razor, so I'm going to rinse the face here. All right. And uh, we'll get the splash on here and we'll be done and on our way for the day. So like I said, hope everybody's well. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, if you like anything, I forgot to do my public service announcement up front. That's how rusty I am. Um, so if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing below. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for being a subscriber. Uh, if you like anything in the video today, please hit that thumbs up button. All that helps the YouTube algorithms. The channel continues to grow beside be, um, uh, even though I haven't been doing a lot of videos. So I think that's great. So appreciate that. So we are going to use the matching splash. The um, one thing with the Master Soaps Creation splashes, they are not alcohol based, they are witch hazel based. So there is no alcohol in this um, splash. And it's pretty nice. I do prefer an alcohol splash. So that's the only probably thing for me personally that I wish the um, splash had alcohol in it that Master Soap Creations doesn't do, but it's uh, certainly not a deal breaker and not the end of the world. Uh, splash smells very nice. Get a little bit more of the mint on the splash. Um, it's not overly woody with the cedars. Uh, it, it says geranium flower, but I don't really get any floraliness to it. Uh, just a very nice neutral scent. Uh, it's not too dark. It's not too light. It's not too bright. Um, just very, very nice. So uh, again, hard to imagine anybody not enjoying this. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you, like I said, if you like, saw anything you like in that video, make sure you hit that uh, thumbs up button and we'll see you soon on the channel.